Well, we've had a nice two weeks back at the cabin, but you see this snow? It's freezing! <laughs> it's time to go. So today begins the journey of taking our self-converted Sprinter van from Canada to Mexico in just seven days. Well, you want to end up in the ditch? We were just detained in a small room. Nice to meet you, Welcome Vicky. Welcome to Menard. This, I don't know if life gets any better than this, really. We're going to set a world record. I'm not sure that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, baby! Come on! I gotta throw out the garbage. Wait. Thank you. Now when I come back, you better not steal my seat. The dump's not exactly open, but you can go around. To get prepared for Mexico, we did get new tires, BF Goodridge KO2s, and I got an extra leaf. So we got like another maybe two inches on the back. No. Oh boy. Oh so, in. No. In. We gotta train him that he doesn't leave. He's, he hasn't, he's had no van training. No van training. Ugh. I can't wait till that's sand and not snow. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. off to a great start. Every 15 minutes our GPS says, uh-oh, traffic's getting worse. You will now arrive by 5 p.m. And then 15 minutes later it's 5.30, 5.45. Traffic on your route is unusually heavy. There she is. Thanks, Siri. At least we're leaving the snow. Yeah. That's the positive here. Oh boy, we got another one here, baby. What is it? I think a big truck is in the side of the road. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a big hill. It's a real mess. This is a real mess. Highways are closed. The side roads are closed. We... We got our van. We got our home. You know what? I was just going to say something negative, but you're right. <laughs> we could sleep here tonight and we'll be fine. Yeah. I think it's an extra disaster because this is the first big snowstorm of the year. Yeah. So this is classic and it's a big one. So yeah. people don't have their winter tires on. Which they should, it's like middle November. This is one of those moments that's really testing what I journal about and what I meditate about, which is I can't control everything. And just because I wanted to get to Mexico in seven days doesn't mean the universe. Oh, oh, so just <laughs> <hard. laughs> Oh. And honestly, that's what a dog is for. That's just rancid, to bring you boy. back down, just to humble you, <coughs> just to remind you, like, you'll get to Mexico. <laughs> it's just getting worse, isn't it? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, so it's obviously a rough start to the trip here. The time keeps going up. Safe to say, might not make the world record. <laughs> I think we're going to be doing a lot of this over the next seven days. Hey Mel, say hi to our vlog. Hi vlog. <laughs> Tell the vlog something you don't think they know about us, but that you know about us because you're my sister. This is risky Mel, what are you about to say? I was just going to say that like, Ava is such an extrovert, and the biggest extrovert you'll ever meet, but when you need to like really recuperate and go down, you go down hard. Yeah. And you yeah. go down into this like little ball, and you just like go into a room and you don't want anyone to bother you and you just want a ton of you do. This is classic, the extrovert. Um, when he's just like a little <laughs> quiet, is like, oh my god, what's wrong with Eamon? Oh my god, Eamon is there's something wrong with him. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna roll Dead down zone. my window for this. Dead zone. This is the 401. That's crazy! This guy's a savage, bro. You wanna end up in the ditch? Wow, he must have some good tires. No, he's just a savage. Oh. Savage. Look at how bizarre this is. Almost as if we just drove out of the storm. There's not even snow on the ground. Yeah, and this was just like we just put the camera down two seconds ago. Wow, we're cruising now. Okay. What a day. We now have zero snow, blue skies, and a clear drive. It's actually colder here. Is it? Minus three. Minus three degrees. We have about 100 kilometers left in Canada, and then we will be heading across our first border into the States and towards Nashville. First of many. Ugh. 
Ah. Should we keep all the receipts? Yeah. We can show them how much it costs. How much did that cost? 157. Canadian. Yeah, we'll compare every time we fill up. How cute is he when he's just sitting like a human in the front seat? Yeah. That's a good boy. You're the best boy ever. Mm. Mommy loves you. So I do this thing when we're at Borders where Eamon's speaking just fine and then I just start piping up. So my goal today is going to be to say nothing Let unless he addresses me. That's a good idea. How you doing? Good, are you? Not too bad. Where are you going? Uh, we're just driving through. We're heading to Mexico. How many in there? Two and a dog. Any alcohol the No. Also, it's okay. It's okay. None. No. Just cover your camera. Alright, sir. Just pull up that out and you're take what you look at the back. Alright, no problem. Yeah. I would love to give you a warm welcome to the United States of America, but we were just detained in a small room, had to leave Oso in the van. It was a very cold welcome. Obviously we've made it through, I'm grateful for that, but that was about a half an hour. We had to describe our business and write a bunch of stuff down. They don't want people moving to Canada or to America and like we packed up looks like we packed up our lives and we could just live here forever yeah and like so they even took off his hat so he didn't look like a skit and we still got pulled over Do you look like a nice boy entering the states or no? maybe take off your hat the hat's no good yeah that's you look more like a clean boy without a hat on anyways this has happened to us once before and like the feeling never really goes away and you know what the it's border okay. they're doing their they're job, doing their job but yeah the they're way just they such assholes they go, what'd you say to me? Yeah. And stuff like that. Like, legit, I wish I could film it. What's in your pocket? Anyway, if you're Anyways. a border patrol officer, <laughs> be the change. Be the difference. Yeah. We're just coming here boosting your economy. Seriously. Damn. Darn. All right. Hopefully the trip gets better from here. Good Morgan. Hey, Mr. Boy. We got some cuddles in the middle of the night, but it was well welcome because it got cold. That's inside. Ooh, welcome home, boys. Want some yum yum also? The hardest part for me on these big long road trips is that it's really hard to keep a morning routine, a healthy routine. So my goal for this trip is to have at least a healthy morning routine. I've been journaling and I've been loving it. Remember this, that very little is needed to make a happy life. So I'm going to journal every morning, try to keep up with my morning meditation, which Eamon sometimes joins me for. Yeah, I've been enjoying it. So we're letting go of the safety net that typically we live with. We are so excited to be working with Headspace as today's video sponsor. If you're not familiar, Headspace is an app that I have been incorporating into my daily life since 2019 that focuses on mental well-being, and I genuinely feel happier and healthier when I use the tools that I gain from this app. I've turned to Headspace to help me navigate some of my life's biggest challenges. So throughout my breast cancer treatment, I really used Headspace on a daily basis to help me take control and feel empowered in a situation that I felt powerless in. You also witnessed me using Headspace throughout my Chemo to 5K training, and I specifically loved their mindful runs for getting me in the right Headspace to tackle that challenge. And I have long loved Headspace's sleep meditations. This is the beautiful part of Headspace. It has over a thousand pieces of premium content so you can find a resource for any mood or any goal that you're trying to achieve. But don't just take my word for it. The science shows that just 10 days of Headspace leads to a 14% decrease in feelings of stress. So if you're ready to try Headspace today, you can get a 60 day free trial by clicking the link in our description box. You won't regret it. Sit. Pause. Huh? 
Oh, he's my best buddy. Also, how good are these rest stops? Toilets for using the bathroom in the morning. Beautiful little walk around for the doggies. I mean, the sleep isn't the most quiet because you've got the highway right there, but I'm very grateful for the rest stops. Do we have like a smoke detector or something? We just pulled over on the highway because step one of any electrical problem is turn it on and off. It's currently off and still beeping. Didn't we have like an oxygen reader or something down here? I think this is in here. You see it? Why are you so noisy? Is that it? Yeah. But does that mean that we have gas leak or something? Like why no, else? No, I think I... it's probably battery. Oh. Because we don't have gas in this van. Right. It's still beeping. You. I just disconnected you. I took out your battery. Try and beep at me now, boy. Have you ever done that? You touch a battery on your tongue like this? Ooh. Yeah, it's kind of dead. <laughs> have you ever done that? I'm not doing Try it. Try it. Just gives you a little zip. No, thank you. It's the tiniest little zip. No, thank you. I'm not Come on. doing it. Come on. Prove me wrong. Why? Come Why on, just because you're a champ. <laughs> I can't. I can do it. You can do it. Baby, I, I know don't you want can do to. it. I know you can do it. How much does it hurt? Not at all. It's so <laughs> underwhelming. Oh, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Kentucky. And we got sunshine. It's like nine degrees, so that's something to celebrate. We are out of the snow belt. <sighs> So here in the States, they asked for your zip code, which we don't have. So there was a hack someone told us back in the day. Like replacing the numbers for letters or something, but I don't know. Anyway, um, 114.81. 114 US dollars is 153 dollars and 23 cents, according to Yahoo Finance. We are one minute away from our very important stop here in Tennessee. These friends of ours, we first met when they had a bus, we had a van, we spent a lot of time in San Diego together. They have since had a baby and we have yet to meet her in person. Feels so good to be here. Hola amigos. Look at them, the perfect family. Thank you guys so much. Maria, Jose, and Chase are some of our dearest friends and those kind of friends where you can go years without physically seeing each other, but you don't have nerves or anxiety about reconnecting. It just feels so natural and so great. <laughs> it's just great to be here. So we've invited them over for dinner. We're gonna do burritos here and they're gonna pull their van up and have like an old nostalgic van life night together. To make our burritos, we're gonna start with a lentil walnut taco meat. So I diced up some onion. I'm going to add some tofu to just make it extra meaty. Taco seasoning in there, garlic, paprika, cumin, salt and pepper. And then we're going to add some fresh diced bell pepper. Smear on the hummus, the guac, the salsa. Add some tortilla chips inside for crunch. Roll it all up. And you've got yourself a delicious plant-based burrito. Got a nanny. Yeah. Delicious. <laughs> she cooks and she, she takes care of the baby. <laughs> Do you think she's hot? Maybe, I don't know. I got my baby Isla just absolutely cooked as if she had a 12 pack. <laughs> and also bears tired from the big day. It was awkward. Good night, fam. Love you. Love, Love you guys. guys. So much. Love you. Oh, so it's happily sitting outside. That means Morning meditation. meditation. But actually in pausing, we start to become more aware. Good morning. It's been 
been a long day of driving from Nashville. We're almost in Austin, Texas. So it's been 12 hours on the road. Our boy Oso has been just the absolute best. And we are currently en route to see friends. I think those of you who have been around since 2018 will be very, very excited to see you. Now what do I do? Don't go right or? Oh yeah! <laughs> Dad! Oh my god, wait, wait for that truck. Hello, hello, hello! I'm a loving on a fighter though. Hey. Good morning, fam. We have been in Texas for a lot longer than this video makes it look like, but... Yeah, what was supposed to be a dinner catch-up with Nicholas and Aubrey turned into four days hanging out in Austin, Texas. In the studio. Give me some, Ooh. give me some. Got a little feedback in the headphones. <laughs> More on that soon. We had such a great time. It was so good to see them. We can hardly believe it's been years and years and years Just since we connected Just click back into in friendship. Like, not even a blip. Love those guys. Today's plan is to make it to Tucson, Arizona, which is 14 hours away, and it's already noon. So you do the math and see the speed we're going. And Anyway, we're at the dog park. <laughs> Oso's burnt out. We're going to hit the road and maybe even stop at Bucky's. That was the most Texas experience. What are you doing? I'm just vlogging for my YouTube channel. Oh, I say, introduce yourself. Yeah, I'm Eamon. Eamon, and what do you YouTube about? Uh, I just YouTube my life. Cool. What's your name? Vicky. Nice to meet Welcome you, Vicky. Welcome to Menard. Thank you. Uh -huh. In buddy's kids, all that I know is when it gets cold. Should we? Welcome to Walmart, aka home for the night. In situations like this, when we're just really not sure of a place and we're rolling in late. Walmart is a great go-to. There's normally a lot of campers, so you feel like you have safety in numbers. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. big boy. He even took Oso to the doggy park, which leaves me to tackle this before today's drive. Cafecito. <laughs> The house is back in order. Okay, time for a little morning meditation, a little journaling. I did not do this in Austin and I felt different. I'm telling you. Whoa! Think of something you dread doing on a daily basis. Can you take more pride in the simple act of doing? We're going to start with the eyes open and a big deep breath. Remember allowing thoughts to come and go. The moment you realize the mind's wandered. Just letting go of that and bringing the attention back to the breath again. House is back in order. We're four hours from Tucson, Arizona, and we're gonna stop at Starbucks because I'm gonna cry. Oh, my coffee. I love having my morning coffee. It's freaking everywhere. Cause I'm not free, no, no, hey, switching up my flow. I'm a loving eye to fighter though. <laughs> loving eye to fighter though. Oh, well, breakfast on the go. Cheers. Oh, really good. Is it? I 
can't believe it, but we're out of fuel again and that gas station is closed. Another hundred. Ah. Oh. Welcome to Tucson. It's bloody brilliant here, mate. 22 degrees. I went in and ordered Beck's walking the dog. We'll let you know what we got in a minute. Sounds good. Cheers, baby. <laughs> I figured you were gonna start with that. <laughs> Pickles even? Oh, oh wow. If you ever wanna have me over for dinner and you're like, I don't know what to make, just make something and just douse it in buffalo sauce and I'll be happy. You need more buffalo sauce? More buffalo sauce would be better, so but it's still like Go get you some more. Would you? Seven wonder city streets, ocean air and mountain peaks. They are not the finest in the land. Also has learned how to roll down the window. Get your hand off the trigger, boy. So. Home for the evening. I feel like we've done a great job of showing you all of the options for parking when you're doing a big road trip in the States. You've got rest stops, you've got Walmart parking, you've got friends' houses, and this is my favorite, BLM land. So you can stay for a maximum of, I think, two weeks in places like this completely free. I got a feeling that it's gonna be a wonderful day. On these mornings when we are so close to our destination, it's easy to just jump in the car and get going. But on mornings where we do get a little active, we don't regret it. Which way do you wanna go? Whichever. So we're going for a run. Yoo! I don't know how far we'll make it. Smoothie time. Two scoops of protein. One brown banana. Frozen mixed berries. Soy milk, half an avocado, a cheeky tablespoon of peanut butter, and blend. Damn! Oh, it's a thick one. Damn! <laughs> I've had a shake in a hot man. I know. Mm. It sounded so yummy. My money don't jiggle, jiggle. It <laughs> folds. When we're rushing from place to place. It's easy to see those around us as an inconvenience. It can be useful to remember that they're probably thinking the same thing about us. As you breathe in, the chest expands. <laughs> we'll try breathe. this again in a couple of minutes. If it were up to me, we'd spend another couple days here. This is the most relaxed I've felt this entire road trip. But we ran out of water, so San Diego. Here we come. Sunshine. Sunshine. I stick my head out the window. I'll fly wherever the wind blows. Moon walking over the rainbow. That's just where I'll be. I'm like, hey. Watch out for us, head. Hey, you wait, boy. Stay. One gallon for 25 cents, five gallons for one dollar. How many gallons are we? Like 40 or 60, between there. <laughs> I don't remember, two vans. I think one's a 40 and one's a 60. I Can I just say how cute you look today with your tie-dye Crocs, your new thrifted blue? Hey, hey. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Oh, money is pouring out of the machine. <laughs> Uh-oh, this doesn't uh -oh. really work. Why? We're not, we need like the pressure. Uh oh. In nearly six years of van life, we've never had this many issues filling up water. It's like we're newbies. Just drove an hour to get to that hardware store, and there's water right here. So I got a hose, hopefully, this works. We just need some water, Dad. <laughs> Cheerleaders. <laughs> This doesn't work. I don't know what to do. 
Come on. You're amazing. Oh yeah. Now that's definitely not uh, food grade plastic, but should be all right. Welcome to San Diego. San Diego. Uh, we've actually been here a few days. We've met ourselves at home and we are leaving today. So this is our last breakfast in America Love for who knows. And we're doing it up big. We got grapes and pommies and yogi and granola. This is Rebecca Maroney. This is dressed to impress today, obviously. <laughs> She's got a big day that. ahead of her. I wanna get through the border with no problems. Are you ready, Chico? I'm ready. By the way, this guy has fully taken over shotgun. Beck now sits in the back. <laughs> All right, we didn't actually make it too far. This was the last fill up in America. And here's the total of what it costs to drive across basically the US. Last USA exit. Wow, we're doing it. We are two minutes away from the Mexican US border. We're crossing into Tijuana, Mexico. The last time we did this, things did not go according to plan. Hola. Como estas? Yeah, stop. No cameras, it says. 